Okay, another 20 plus 5 game. Oh, this should be an interesting game. 1835 versus 1835. Okay, so looks like we're racing to beat each other. Let's go. Uh, we could leave the pawn there because obviously the bishop's going to take back anyway. Develop the knight. We do like this move. I've, we always say this. I think it, it, we saw one recently where they took the pawn. Normally they don't take. Yeah, as we said. Let's just get, grab here. So they're the same rating as me, so basically they know what I know, or a little bit more. So we have to um, put some pressure on. Let's go with the bishop here, let's get some development going. Check on the king. Trying to make space for my own castling. Got to be mindful of this type of situation. make space for our own king he might want to disturb it loses a bit of tempo if he does do that we could do ours because we've got space at the side of our king to castle so trying to win that that tempo count yeah, we're up in the game, up in the stakes. So we've already got a pin through here. We've got a nice knight developed. We're ready to castle. So in terms of development on the board, I believe we're probably two moves ahead. He's yet to move his knight to go and castle for his king's safety. So feeling fairly okay with that. I mean, this pawn has not got any protection apart from the queen as well. So it's a bit loose. But on the positive side, it is like a semi pass pawn, so it could make its way down. So it's gone into a deep thing. I'm going to pause. Okay, he's made a move. Let's push the pawn. Let's push the king's pawn. King safety is key for us. Let's push the king's pawn. He wants to stop the knight from jumping here and here, but. That's at a cost because he's weakened his king area. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. So he's brought the knight out. So we do have options, many, many options. But development of pieces is probably quite key for me. Uh, do you know I feel like attacking his bishop? I think that's the way to go. So let's attack the bishop here. It's got no protection on it. What's it doing there all by itself? So do they know what I know? Are they looking to win tempo? Let's grab. I still believe we're tempo up. Now he's gone king castles, but he's king castled and he does have this naughty little space here. And his king is home alone we have our knight rook here at the minute i suppose he's got his rook and his knight here as well but i want to class it as his king is home alone so his pieces are on the other side of the board Should. protect the bishop because this naughty queen wants to come here thinking it's sly I know what you know. I'm just scared you know what I know. So we've got two on there. He's got two protection. But this naughty diagonal, we should be able to take advantage of that somehow. Let's bring this here. Could get the naughty diagonal going through here with the bishop.
he wants to but he's realized he's opened up a space for us here so he's probably not going to do that pawn move and in essence we would have how many pieces on this pawn we would have three pieces he's only got two so he'd have to bring his bishop here protecting that diagonal he might bring that bishop there anyway and before he actually pushes this pawn move the king yep as we said he noticed he must have noticed that this bishop was ready to attack this area here still go for it because we've got the three on one bishop probably comes to protect and we've talked through all this anyway so the thing is i mean if he does come there the knight can come here knights hunt the bishops says knight takes come here maybe start opening the rook there's options it's going into a deep thing but I think the obvious move is moving this it's not going to push there because we've got like too many pieces on there yeah so it's gone there so knight like I say is going to come here doesn't have to I mean I could have done any other type of move So trying to make them pay the price for this diagonal but it's probably going to keep on this diagonal because that's the weak area that they've created for us so how do we turn that into a positive knight could come here attack his knight his knight takes rook takes rook doesn't really have a place in the center of the board really but then we're putting another piece on this pawn and he'd already have the bishop and the queen on there interesting times so it does take let's get the queen involved maintaining the pressure on here so on the straightforward maneuvers don't need to overthink anything so what are the weak, weak squares these two definitely so weak because they're only supported by the king the rook is not helping the king the king is home alone when you look at these types of positions where the rook is here the knight see the bishops there that's not really protecting the king area actually protecting the king area is having your sort of pieces you know more or less in front of your king you know that type of thing so this is why i can look at this positively yes our pieces aren't covering our our king our queen is Yep, and it's looking to be explosive towards their king in a development so we're not negating that fact we're trying to use the advantage of the opponent's pieces being on the other side of the board and start jostling okay so let's see we've got the pawn here this pawn is the be all and end all for the whole situation really isn't it I want to be very careful could come there could go there but I don't have anything else supporting so I think it's a bit too premature attacking the pawn here putting another piece attacking if it does take then we can simply take with the queen or we can take the queen off the board we've got options just take our position on the board is better reason being this bishop doesn't have any protection on it so if he wanted to save his bishop he would then negate the fact that our queen can take his knight so a move all the thing losing a moment of tempo like I said these pieces weren't really protecting his king area they were loosely around protecting one measly pawn so this is the pieces I was partying protecting a piece that doesn't need protecting when they could have actually been formulating their attack towards our king area so now they lose out in terms of position on the board it's prop 
probably may resign as in solely a bishop but he's a minor piece down because of that positional tempo type of play that we're trying to discuss and um, demonstrate for ourselves so they've gone for a long pause I'll, I'll pause it so they have taken they've taken with the rook obviously they know that the bishop is being going to be taken the bishops on the rook so the rook will probably come and attack the bishop ang angrily now bishop still got that diagonal there managing this square towards the king so that's the type of thing we're talking about in terms of pressure in the king area so you don't have to be exactly in front of your king but and he could lose the pawn but we're not going to go down that road because we like to keep this diagonal here so we may as well just bring the bishop back I was thinking of coming here but then he does have the knight and he does have his rook as well could we bring our bishop in front of our own king is that an option could bring it this side it's more devastating this side because it is covering this square in front of the king tell you what I'm going to stick with what we were sort of preaching I still think that diagonal is quite good knight does have this pawn at this moment in time but protecting my king, bringing my key pieces towards my king area rather than away seems appropriate. I have to learn to practice that type of thing. Bringing my pieces, it might feel a bit uncomfortable, but bring the pieces to protect your king. Your king is not safe just with its castle alone. It's a definite change in the mindset and it's the one tiny thing when I've watched games that sort of separates out the the winning and the losing aspect it's not protected this pawn I wonder why knight can take well, well I suppose if we take if his rook comes down and takes this pawn I suppose we take this pawn and we're making inroads towards their king area which works for me If he takes the pawn, the rook could come here, couldn't it, as well? Yeah, let's take. So there's a whole heap of combinations going on here, and it's also bringing our knight towards our king, Gary, rather than away. So his pieces are away from his king, as we're noting. So it's strengthening our attack process towards their king. We do have a 2 and one on this pawn as well. He does drop so he's not attacking this pawn. Knight can come back here just to defend it. Could make inroads towards their king. So it could come back, could come here, could go there. If we go there, oh look at that. That's a nice one. Go there if they forget themselves then we get the rook off the board. I don't see a problem with that. So look at my pieces slowly making their way towards their king area at the same time as being in front of my own king area. This is the type of thing we were talking about earlier. Oh, the other rooks come down. Now oh, that's a shocker. I don't know where that's going. He's gone further away from his own king. Oh, he's gone. Ah, yeah, because obviously he doesn't want the check on. Doesn't want the check on. So if we put the check on the king, he either comes there or he goes there. Then our knight can come back and put a check on his rook, but then his rook can come and take, and then he's obviously looking at that, but the bishop's got this area. Hmm. I could just push the pawn up. He just takes here. Hmm. Uh, I might be overthinking this situation, you know. Uh, we're plus three, so we could afford to trade down. You know, we could bring the rook here if his rook takes. 
then we take and then his rook takes and then he's taking all these pawns off the board does that look right because then he's going to have all this stuff let me do it again goes here takes take he takes rook comes here to stop all of that shenanigans let me think again so go there if he takes this knight this knight doesn't have any protection on so we could use that as a ploy to get his pieces further away from his king and then get a rook up there yeah I think that's going to be doable because then we can move across here He's, he can't come here because the bishop's got that defended so if he moves his knight somewhere then we go boom up here then he comes down and what else do we have got a pawn here protecting this pawn interesting times you know I think I'm in for a bit of scattiness let's go with that I'm going to, I'll, I'm happy with my knight being here it's in front of my king bishops here protecting the king area I don't have a problem with that I don't think so we're enticing them to take the pawn here then we're going to swing the rook across attacking the knight I suppose he could go back again whoa what's he doing what's he doing no 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 we don't want any of that uh, we could go and put a check on the king like we said that's what we were covering before then come down attack his rook his rook comes that where do we go from there we've got a safe haven here haven't we let's go with that knight move putting a check on Oh, now all of a sudden he's found some speed. Let's um, attack the rook, like we said. Uh, oh, he's not attacked. He's not taking the pawn. That might cause them a bit of an issue. Let's come down and attack the rook, like we said. Safe haven here on this pawn. Obviously attacking the rook, but you know, keeping pieces safe got our pieces in front of our king protecting the king area the opponent's owning these files at the moment but that's going to be short lived so I'm not too worried about any of that they may look to try and do a sly thing like trying to push the pawn down to eventually get these two but we're not staying here for long if he does push the pawn we'll just take the rook So I'm, I'm liking the way that this is formulating, it's backing up what we're trying to practice. Castles, yes, he's gone back. So at this point here we can we can challenge. We can challenge pieces. Let's challenge this rook here. Like I said, this ownership of these files is not going to last too long. So in essence he probably has to take because behind it, unless of course he brings his king across to defend. Or he could just leave it there because he's got his rook defending. And like we said, pushing down to try and get these pieces here. Key thing, like I said, it's not going to be a problem for us. We can push here quite easily. I was about to just take this rook off the board don't think it would have uh, meant any problems for us because he still would have had to take and then we could still deal with this pawn here so it's starting to take shape in terms of tempo for us in terms of position on the board and feeling happy about king safety ownership of the files we're, we're looking at dealing with that quite easily so his king realistically is still home alone so 
no matter what happens, I suppose he could move his rook if he wanted to save pieces. You know, he could move his rook, but then what happens is this knight gets taken. So when he captures, then we capture. What realistically has he got then after that? The pawn taken, but then the bishop takes. Nice diagonal. And he's not doing any of that, he's just pushed past with the pawn. Which makes it quite easy for us to take this rook off the board. And look to establish some sort of... Ah, there's many options. There's many options. Could challenge the rook. And see if he wants to exchange. If not, then we take. But I suppose his king is potentially coming to protect. But either way, well, oh, he's um, taken. Okay, that nice, 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 nice. That works out. Okay, so now if he's got some cleverness with this knight, thinking he's got some magical tricks, behind this knight is a nice diagonal. Bishop can come here, taking this pawn. So I think I'm in for those um, bag of tricks. This knight's probably looking to grab one of the... Oh. I'm not sure that he should... I'm confused. Because... Should he not have just gone there and then he's at least attacking this pawn? I suppose this pawn would just push onto him then. Where is he going from there? Because this knight is protecting this pawn. Am I missing... Oh, it's this pawn he's going for. Oh, they've resigned. Damn. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, that was quite a meaty game. Okay, so yeah, that was a game of tempo, position play, and protecting the king, even though it's castled, because the castling does not keep it protected. Yeah, the pieces protect the king. It's a good psychology to have.